What's so interesting to me is that a tune like Karina Karina was being played on both sides of the tracks. So you have the audio recordings of Clarence Ashley's group uh, doing, it's a string band, a white string band, and then you have Bo Carter from Mississippi, the way he played the tune. Quite different, but whereas my arrangement is, I would say, based very much on the Carolina Tar Heels version. And Mississippi John Hurt used to play this tune as well in the key of C as well as the key of D, and very similar to the way I'm playing it for you today. Now, one thing, I tend to use the bare fingers, the fingertips, the skin of my right hand. So when I'm playing, if you take a look at my right hand on the strings, my thumb is sort of parallel to the strings, and I'm coming down rather heavily to accent that bass. I'm playing a C chord. Now, some people use picks. You'll get a different sound if you use just a thumb pick. Some people use thumb picks as well as finger picks. I don't think that's necessary to use finger picks for this type of playing, but you really want to make sure that you're playing the guitar and the guitar isn't playing you. I keep saying that in so many different lessons. Very important when you play a C chord and let's say if you look at my left hand and check out my ring finger I'm just going to be alternating that ring finger going backwards and forwards between the fifth and the sixth string but now take a look at my right hand and you'll see that my thumb is going five four six five, four, six, four. So feel comfortable with that. And now we're going to try changing the chord to an F chord. It's just going to be three chords. And we're going to play the F chord like this. Oh, I hear some groans out there. When people look at that thumb over the fingerboard, they say, oh, I can't do it. Well, actually, there's an easier way. Try doing the F chord like this, but you don't need to have your index finger barring the first two strings. You just have to basically have it on the first fret of the second string. Now be careful, you not wanna, don't want to play that high E string, otherwise you get it, I believe it's an F6. And now it's easier to get your thumb over on the first fret of the sixth string. And so when you're playing the C, you have five, four, six, four. And now the F, six, four, easy enough. And now I'll go to a G seventh. And likewise here, you're gonna have six, four, and back to your C. Now so many guitar arrangements are played in this first position. In fact, there's a joke in Nashville that most of the money being made there with the tunes are all played in the first position with chords up to the first to the fifth frets. So a C and an F and a G, powerful stuff. I'm just going to pick out the melody. I started off with that, Karina Kerr, and then the melody comes, keeping that bass popping backwards and forwards to that F chord. Nothing too hard there. G chord. And then a hammer on, on the G7. And then your pinky comes to the third fret of the second string and a C chord. Let me play it real slow. Ah, something that I do here. You know, I could just be playing the open G string. If you do it with your thumb, you get that sound. If I did it with my index finger, I get that sound, which is a slightly different. But if I play it with both my thumb and the index finger, actually like sort of pinching the string, I get a much more, um, I, it's a biting sound. I call it spitting on the guitar. And then you get into that softer sound. So listen. And then the full sound. The F chord. All right. So 
not too difficult, a lovely tune to begin with. I'm not a, a singer and I'm not going to try to sing these songs during this lesson, especially since you have the original recordings and sometimes different versions of them. Number one, you can hear the melody, how it's being sung. And number two, all the lyrics are there for you to get. Lots of different lyrics. So let's split the screen now and try this rather simple arrangement of Karina, Karina. up the tempo. 